Um, so we talked a lot about, you know, basically the last year, uh, year and a half or so of this working group uh, in terms of the API standards that we've created that were inspired by things like PCOG and other large distributed projects. I'm going to switch gears a little bit now and talk about um, the GA4GH Dream infrastructure challenges. Um, so, so what's going on here? Um, we talked about these APIs. These are building blocks. Uh, we see implementations happening now, which is fantastic. And uh, we see driver projects for our group that are really giving us use cases for these APIs. So things like PCOG and also future projects like ICGC Med um, are really sort of driver projects, large distributed um, compute uh, projects uh, that will be using these APIs. Um, but in a very concrete way, uh, we wanted to also test um, that the APIs that we're working on, the approaches we're taking, um, are really having a, an impact on um, basic reproducibility. Can I hand around my tool to someone else uh, over the Terse API and have them be successful at running it? Can I give them a workflow and have them be successful at running it? Can I test that um, a given WES uh, implementation works properly and I can send it a real workflow and have that actually function? So that's really what this partnership between Dream and GA4GH is about. Uh, we're testing the infrastructure that this uh, containers and workflows task team are building. And so the first challenge that wrapped up, um, I think about two months ago, uh, was something very, very simple. We started with a tool execution challenge to answer the question, can I dockerize my tool, something very simple, and describe it via terse service, so a tool registry service, hand it to a bunch of other people and have them be successful at running it, regardless of what platform they're using. And so that was the, the, the goal. Um, the actual process was we put an MD5 sum tool, so a very, very simple tool, on DocStore, and we had about 35 uh, participants pull that from DocStore and run it in a wide variety of platforms. Um, they self-reported success um, back to Synapse, and from that, we were able to take a look at what platforms were people using. Uh, we saw a lot of people using Rabbix or the simple DocStore command line tool or CWL tool um, directly. Uh, so for more information, you can, you can check out our, our Synapse page here. But this was ultimately a very successful process, we thought. We're able to actually send around tools and share them and have that be reproducible. But it was something very simple. So the challenge that um, I'm proud to announce as of yesterday is now open uh, is the Phase 2 GA4GH Dream Workflow Execution Challenge. And the big difference between this one and our previous challenge is this one is about sending around real workflows. And what I mean by real workflows are workflows that are high value in the community, people use them every day, large projects use them. Um, so we want to send around realistic workflows that took real resources to run. Uh, they weren't trivial like the MD5 sum tool. And the process is very similar. Um, we register it on DocStore or GitHub or other locations. Um, community members will pull the, those workflows and run them in whatever platform they choose, that's part of the challenge, um, and submit their results. Uh, the workflow authors have also provided um, a little tool that will tell us whether the output is valid or not. So that little testing tool is actually used by the Synapse Dream infrastructure to check these submissions and see if the participants produce the right answer. And those that produce the right answer get to the leaderboard. So this process involves a lot of folks, and there's been a lot of planning, and I'm, I'm really happy at the uh, sort of um, support that we've received in this. On the contributor side for workflows, we have folks from GDC, uh, the GATK team, ENCODE, BC Bio, and others that have submitted workflows to be part of this challenge. Uh, we have, uh, have received great support from SAGE and GA4GH uh, to set up this dream infrastructure. And in terms of participants, we've seen already in a sort of pre-release mode, we've seen a lot of people using a wide variety of platforms, uh, which is very, very exciting to see. Um, so what's the status? As I said, yesterday it opened. Yay, <laughs> super happy after all the planning we did. Um, so this is going to be kind of a two-month process. So we, we hope to close it at the end of September. And as of uh, two days ago, we have 41 registered participants um, that are going to run these workflows in their platform of choice and report back. Um, so this is really a call out to everyone in this room. Um, what we need at this point is we need your help. We need 
as many participants as possible. What we're trying to do here is we're trying to show that these workflows are interoperable, that we can send them around to people, that we can reproduce research and, and, and um, uh, be successful in that. So we want as many people as possible to try these workflows out in their platforms of choice and report back on how that went. Um, so that platform of choice can be a commercial platform or open source, it's your choice. And oddly enough, we, this is gonna sound weird, but we want duplication. So it's not enough, I think, to have one person that wrote this platform run the workflow and be successful. What we wanna see is as many people as possible run the same workflows on as many different platforms as possible. And so we wanna really get like a large number of people involved in this and, and show that these platforms and these workflows can be used by a large number of people and be successful with that. Um, the other thing is, as time goes on, we do want to onboard more workflows and look for a diversity of workflows as well. So we're open to formats beyond just CWL and Whittle. And finally, as this wraps up, what we want to do is we want to crunch the numbers, take a look at, at how well this process worked, how successful we were, what platforms were most successful, what workflows were most reproducible, and essentially have a publication where we invite the participants in the platform uh, developers uh, to join us on that, part, that publication. Uh, so we also have other future challenges uh, planned as well uh, related to other APIs that the group is working on, including uh, TESS and WES. Um, a data object service or DOS challenge, and then finally looking at doing a full stack challenge. Can you spin up an entire stack of all these APIs and show data can flow through them? Um, our ultimate vision for this group, taking a step back from the dream challenge and taking a step back from the individual APIs, and this is not a commitment by each of these projects, this is a, a vision for what we hope the future looks like we'd really very much like to be in a situation where there isn't just a doc store, that there are many different tool registry service supporting uh, tool and workflow registries out there. Uh, likewise, we want many different platforms supporting WES, so I can send my workflow to a wide variety of platforms, whether they're commercial or open source or on, um, uh, on a variety of environments. And finally, we want to see test support across a wide variety of execution environments, including the big cloud providers, as well as HPC and other environments that we're just not even thinking of right now. And at the lowest level, we want to be able to access data in a wide variety of places using a standardized data object service. So this is our ultimate vision. I think over the next year, as the group matures and our APIs standardize and, and are released as 1.0s, our goal is to increase the number of high quality implementations of these APIs to really realize this vision of maximum sort of flexibility that supports large scale distributed projects like ICGC Med that need to run in a, a large geographically diverse set of locations. So with that, I just wanna thank so many people that have helped out on the GA4GH and participated in the containers and workflows task team. Um, there's too many to mention, so I'll just point you at our, our, our GitHub um, uh, organization here. And also I wanna point out that we have a, a more detailed doc store talk uh, happening today at 3 p.m. in the Terrace One room, if anyone's interested. And then we also have a GA4GH birds of a feather tomorrow at 5.30 p.m. Uh, so I guess we're happy to take questions now. Thank you.